So we're here at the Samsung booth, and uh, Samsung is launching this device. Uh, it's actually a Google Chromebook, so Google has launched yeah. this with Samsung uh, ITS, uh, and this uses the Exynos 5 uh, dual SoC. So this is a real arm-powered laptop? This is really an arm-powered laptop, yes, the first arm-powered laptop that's the, shipping commercially. The first, like, mass market? Absolutely, yes. Arm-powered laptop? Uh, this is the first mass market arm-powered laptop shipping with Exynos 5 Dual, uh, which is based on uh, Cortex A15 and Mali Graphics T604. So, um, this is kind of... Um, so what do you do? What do you do? So this is a Chromebook. It runs yeah. a Chrome OS on it. So you can do pretty much everything that Chromebook supports in terms of all the native aspects of the Google Apps, Google Mail, YouTube, <laughs> offline support for uh, uh, Gmail, the Google Drive. So, so if you look at it, this has all the Google Apps integrated on the Chrome OS, right? So it's, it provides the best of the experience. But what do you do at Samsung yourself? So for myself, uh, I'm the director of marketing at Samsung. So marketing of the uh, processor uh, division? LSI. The so it's part of the Exynos uh, yeah. marketing. So this really showcases Cortex A15, no? You, you want to have a big screen? So this really showcases Exynos 5 Dual, let me put it this way, yeah. which is based on Cortex A15 and the Mali Graphics T604. Uh, it, and processor-wise, this has the uh, best available memory bandwidth to be able to drive high-resolution displays like WQXGA, 2560 by 1600. Uh, so in terms of SOC, it brings in the uh, CPU, GPU, memory bandwidth, and the best of the power efficiency altogether. So was that really needed to get uh, that latest processor for this kind of park to become reality? So if you look at it, um, uh, people have been trying to do ARM-based uh, laptops, right? But there's nothing that is shipping uh, mass market. And the, they needed the power of the A15 along with everything else uh, with the graphics and memory bandwidth and the power efficiency to be able to really drive a device uh, that's for computation. So uh, that fast memory bandwidth is used within the browser and it's super important to have that, right? It, it's, it's useful for browser, it's useful for graphics, it's useful for the smooth experience that you're seeing, it's useful for to drive high resolution displays and be able to do truly a multitasking uh, product. So Chrome OS on ARM is kind of like, uh, it's been open source and it's been on development, but it's kind of, well, new, right? So is it fully optimized yet or it can be much more optimized? Uh, again, uh, uh, what you Google? see here, it's, it's a question about Google, So, yeah. but at the same time, what you see here is the best uh, Chrome OS product that uh, that's shipping so far. Uh, uh, and this product, if you go visit Amazon.com, Best Buy, or wherever it's sold out, which means that, hey, people are really liking this product, uh, and they really like uh, what Chrome OS uh, provides you. And actually, there's flash support, so it means that the flash support on ARM is still uh, well, being supported because yes. it's there. This it's is there. Flash. Yes, it's not exactly. It's HTML5 flash. video. It's, it's Flash. Flash. And so, so this supports both HTML5 and Flash. So how many tabs can you have running at the same time? Again, you can have multiple tabs. I don't think there's a limit in terms of how many tabs you can have them running. So is the Mali, uh, is the GPU fully utilized in Chrome OS yet, or it could be more utilized? Uh, Again, that's a specific uh, Chrome OS specific question, but uh, I'm sure Google is uh, utilizing the Mali graphics more, and yeah. uh, and there, there could be a lot of stuff that can be done uh, as as the Chrome OS uh, Chrome App Store people start using and developing apps uh, for the Chrome OS App Store. Uh, you'll start seeing a lot more applications awesome. in, uh, yeah, saw, yeah. which which use the GPU. So that means that the Exynos 5 is in full mass production. Yes, absolutely. So absolutely. We actually, for last two weeks, we have we have actually had uh, two busy weeks. We had the Chromebook yeah. announced two weeks back. Last week, we announced our community boards, and just on Monday, Google announced the Nexus 10. Can you deliver enough processors for everybody? Yes, we can. For sure. Yes, but it's, it's like ramping up and then more and more, or how does so it work? For us, again, we have, uh, as you know, Samsung. Uh, we also have our own uh, foundries, and we are we are in the mass production. So, right now, we are able to ramp our customers. Uh, in product, and as you can see, we also have the Quanta-based uh, reference tablets in our store. All right, uh, very cool. So we can expect this is just the beginning. This we can expect a, this is just the beginning of uh, Exynos 5 dual products lineup. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot more products coming out uh, in the market. Could you close the lid just to show?
so it's crazy thin. It's crazy thin. It's pretty light. It's it has a uh, it has good battery life uh, for you to do enough computational activities. It provides HDMI. What is the serial number? Uh, yeah, I'm joking. But it says uh, stuff here, and then uh, uh, here is USB three. This USB three. The USB three you can use to connect the USB three hard drive. You can connect, yeah, exactly. You can. And then you can here. transfer files fast. Yeah. You can transfer files much much faster oh, yeah. than what you can do with the USB two dot o. So you have you have USB two dot o, you have USB three dot o, and you have an HDMI. So depending on what the connector requirements are or what peripherals uh, users want to connect, they have the options. Why did you have two USB threes? Uh, is that the SOC question or just a hardware? I think it's, I think it's more in terms of how the product has been designed yeah. so that you can have, it's basically you can have, if you want to also have a USB keyboard, mouse, or at the same time you want to have USB SATA or USB drive uh, to be able to transfer uh, data. So actually uh, the HDMI out, this resolution is uh, 1366 by 768, something like that. That's right. But you can HDMI out to 1080p. Yes. So you can have 1080p Chrome OS on your external screen. And you can have two screens at the same time? Uh, yes, that's what I understand. Yeah. This is fantastic. So, sold out. Really cool design. Really cool design. Light. It's very light. Do you think, well, that's probably again a Chrome OS question. Do you think the battery life will be longer as the software gets optimized? Again, I, I don't think it's, I think it's all the system together right now. Uh, and when I said battery life, it already has a good battery life when you look at for computational use. Because in computational use, you do a lot more than what you do on a regular uh, uh, phone tablet use case, right? So from that aspect, I think this is a good battery life. But yes, uh, uh, we'll be looking at how we can enhance the battery life further. And the battery life is, you have to consider, it's very small battery, right? I mean, it's it a thin battery. So if you look at it, this is light, this is thin. Battery consumes space, uh, battery also consumes weight. And from the form factor that you see here, battery has to be uh, smaller. Nice.